have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. YouTube. I didn't do much of a closeout on yesterday's video. Uh, I was tired and we didn't really do anything after that. We just kind of stayed inside. Um, we did talk to uh, the people that are the park attendants, attendants, the park attendants, yeah. And we uh, are going to go out to dinner with them tomorrow evening. Um, so I might have them on camera. We'll have to see how they feel about that. Uh, they've been doing this for quite some time now, three years here. Mm -hmm. First, for housekeeping reasons, let's give you an update on that stuff. Um, the gray tank's getting ready to be emptied because it's pretty full. Uh, the black tank, of course, we don't have a problem with that. I, I don't think we'll have to do anything until we leave with the black tank. Maybe. We'll have to see. Um, we're going to use that big new tank for the gray water. And again, if we have to do black water, I don't know what we're going to do yet with that. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be an issue. We might just be able to dump when we leave. The camper has stayed nice and cool. Except last night when you tried it. Oh, yeah. Last night I tried to adjust it because it seemed like in the middle of the night it got a little bit too cool. And I must have dropped it down too far too soon. And I was editing videos until midnight last night. Heidi had gone to bed at around 10. Probably before that. Yeah, maybe eight. around 8. <laughs> she went to bed really early. Yeah, it was 8. Now I think about it. And then she got up and she said, it's hot in here. <laughs> so, the camper's been performing really well. All except that water issue that we talked about. We'll have to see what that's about whenever we get back home. Not a big deal, though. And as far as today, uh, our plans are to empty the gray water, maybe do some laundry, possibly, because there are some laundry machines on site. Also, we have to drive to the Sitgo and buy a fishing license. I don't think Heidi wants to fish. She just wants to clean the fish. We'll have to buy a fillet knife. We don't have a fillet knife. Uh, that's if I catch stuff. I have to buy bait. I don't even know what to buy. I have to ask these people around here what to what to get. We're also going to get a package delivered today. Hopefully, they find our site. I don't know how that's going to work out. Of course, I don't have any Wi-Fi to get an update on the package. It may have got del delayed or something. Uh, we're also then possibly within the next few days we'll go visit the fish hatchery, check that out and we'll get up on the dam and uh, check that out a little bit closer too because there's a lot of uh, paths and stuff around the dam. I don't know, I wonder if you can walk from the high side of the dam to the low side. That'll be interesting too. So we'll see how today unfolds. Heidi's hard at work. We didn't tell you guys the other day uh, that we stopped at America's Shopping Center, <laughs> Walmart, and picked up these rafts. I think they were 20 bucks, $15 a piece. So for $30, we got the pair, and quite honestly, they were perfect, weren't they? Yep. We had to blow them up by uh, way of lungs, and it was hot, so that was kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> we were in the camper just huffing away, and we wished we still had our air mattress air pump that would have made life easier wouldn't it yeah i got out my fishing gear look at it's it's getting close look at all this dust it hasn't seen daylight in who knows how long so i'll cast my line out and it'll probably just snap <laughs> i don't feel like redoing the lines on the pole i'll take a chance we'll see what happens so let's talk about the tank dun dun dun, dun. i did a little clip of this tank before we left and talked about it and I found two problems with it actually three problems with it <laughs> number one even though this is the shortest tank available we had to wheel it all the way out to here to get a low enough spot that the water actually would flow into it to any degree that wasn't such a big deal you just have to do the whole 
lift in the hose thing and it fills up and it did a good job however I don't know if you can tell this area seems to be a little wet well, I'll show you why it's wet even though it's symboled in America it was put together like it was Chinese it was leaking against the tank and it was leaking on the outlet now I rinsed these off greatly and it was just gray water that we did but the reason that it leaked they never put any seals here there's supposed to be a seal here and there's supposed to be a seal here and it's just hard plastic there's no way that's going to seal off it was slowly leaking water out that cap the entire time that we were pulling it so I was making a nice trail of gray water all the way out so what was the third problem with the tank the third problem with the tank is that whenever I was pulling it with my hitch going very very slowly that valve sits so low that if you have to go over a speed bump like the one that we have here the axle in the front once it goes over the speed bump makes it drag and then it touches that valves cap which is right here and then the cap gets unscrewed and then the cap gets drug and then the back tire runs it over and snaps the little tether holder off so luckily this cap didn't get run over uh, by the guy that drove in after I went by or I would need a new cap too so we learned a few things luckily it was gray water but if I was to buy one of these tanks which I still think is an exceptional tank make sure that it's put together correctly and fill it full of fresh water at home and make sure that there's no leaks again we had gray water in there so not a big deal if it was black that would have been horrible secondly if you're going over speed bumps you're going to have to do something about going over speed bumps because it will high center and it'll most likely catch this cap or worse so now we're going to have to go out and get the fishing license like we planned. UPS is still yet to deliver our package here, which I was hoping to get uh, so we could be free and not worry about them wandering around trying to find us. And we'll uh, go head out and also look for those seals maybe once we get internet when we're out uh, at one of these places like Dairy Queen. Uh, we can find that there's an RV place or a marina that has those type of gaskets for that shutoff valve because that blade valve is pretty standard so I would expect there's a lot of people out there that have something like All that. Alright so we come down to the local sit go which just don't look like a normal gas station and they got some kind of a one stop open pit. I like pig butts and I cannot lie is what the sign says and of course they got bait here so I gotta go in and get a fishing license I'm going to be the typical tourist because I have no idea what I need. Alright guys, so here's the entrance to the campground that you'll most likely be coming in this direction unless you are coming from the south or the west. <laughs> in one half mile, turn right on campground road. Voice command. Say a command. Stop route. Route cancelled. And then it's all kind of like this all the way through. Now if we stay on this road and not make a right into the campground, this will take you to the dam that we showed you the other day that we drove across. We just came back. I topped off both tanks. Uh, the truck doesn't get good gas mileage doing all this running around city driving crap. And uh, we got some night crawlers, or I got some night crawlers. Out of state, three day pass is $20 for a, a non-resident. And then the night crawlers. I got three dozen. I don't think I'll need that many, but I gotta go fishing. Maybe our UPS delivery's here. And then again, maybe it's not. And this is the uh, entrance to campground. Again, straight ahead to the dam. So this is the maintenance area on the left. Of course, we're not going there. And obvious that they do a lot of maintenance. And then the uh, the site itself. It's parking up in front. It's a picnic area. That's where we walk to that has that big barbecue pit. And uh, the people that are the host that we're going to have dinner with uh, tomorrow night, they are 
off today. This is the only day that they have off. And hopefully I'll get to talk to her on camera and let them explain to you how you get the job here as a work camper. It's a bidding system. Uh, it's kind of unique and uh, quite honestly, if you could deal without having Wi-Fi or internet or if you have Verizon, you could uh, make some money. Not just work it. If you just want to volunteer, it's 20 hours a week for your site. But if you want paid, um, you can get paid. They definitely need to mow. There's no doubt about it. Now, we're not going to drive through the whole park. We did that the other day. Uh, we might be able to get on our bikes <laughs> at some point and ride through the park with the uh, cameras so you can see what it's like. But I'm just going to take this cut through on the left and go back to our site. I'm back out on that dock that we saw <laughs> yesterday that was underwater. So I have to keep an eye on the water level. But I'm going to sit out here in my little chair. And uh, I did have an umbrella, but it just quite won't clamp on to that. I should have brought the other umbrella down. And I'm going to try to fish. We'll see what we can catch. I just got night crawlers in that little tiny pole. And you guys will never find the pole like this one. It is a Shimano uh, Bantam Graphite C. And it's an old Shimano reel, 101 plus. The only way you're going to find it is if you can transport back in time to 1983 and go to Gold Circle and purchase that. It was $43 all the way back then, and it's done me well all these years, but it's a small pole. It's for small fish, so hopefully I don't break anything. I'm back at the campsite because the fishing was a total failure. I didn't even get a nibble. Heidi told me I'd be catching tons of fish. Yeah, sure. She... <laughs> Look at her position. It was almost the sleep position. That's what that is. <laughs> well, UPS hasn't delivered our package yet, which not a big deal, I guess. But I'm getting ready to go inside the camper and cool off a little bit. I was down in the sun. Yeah, that's all that was about. Casting out, reeling in, casting out, reeling in the whole time because the water's moving so fast. And then they blew the horn like they were going to open up the dam or raise the water or whatever, so I had to get off that little dock thing because obviously it would have been underwater so we'll uh, have to do some fishing somewhere else I came inside to cool off in the air um, Heidi's out there nice and cool once I lose some of this moisture off of me I'm gonna go back out there but I was uh, I was definitely on the humid side and although I enjoy it um, I didn't want to ruin my shirt that I just got at the rock quarry <laughs> But it looks like we're going to have to wash anyways. So, I uh, came in, and it's only 1.30 local time. And guess what? UPS came. All I did was just set it up for, you know, the site number and then the address. And sure enough, it got here next day air. I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, right off the bat, I ordered the wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well, we'll use it. And when they tear, they tear. I mean, they are just like paper, Ugh. but they are easier to turn. The one that I ordered before that I had to return it, um, yeah, the laminated pages were like sticky. They stuck together and stuff. So we'll uh, see if Heidi can read this and help me as a navigator. If not, I'm going to have to buy her some kind of program for a laptop and have her navigate that way, make it a little bit easier on her. We're tired of sitting at the camper. <laughs> We're going to go uh, try to find a fishing spot somewhere. First, we're going to go up to the dam, though, and maybe we can find a spot up there. We stopped here just for a couple of seconds because we don't think we're supposed to be here. It doesn't say anything, but no fishing from inside the fence. Well, that means I can fish outside the fence. Isn't that what that means? I guess, but there's no parking, so... Yeah, I don't know says... where you park. I don't know what it means outside the fence. If where you can fish or where the whole thing is I have no doubt I can go down there and fish but oh well we'll go somewhere else we drove just a little bit further and I know there's probably wind coming through but it's kind of cool Dale Hollow Dam cool
28 million dollars I think I'm gonna buy one area subject to camera surveillance well I'm surveying the area right now what Looks like people are jumping over the edge here oh no it's a wash off I was gonna say looks like people are walking down there here comes some cars over the bridge obviously we must be the only ones that want to take it slow most of these people that come across here are flying up in the truck we're going to go across the top of the dam and see what's on the other side this is a nice area here I don't know what's down here there's a boat with a porta potty on it don't know what that means and there's gates down here it says no trespassing they light this up I mean there's pretty decent sized light there very calm we have a picnic over here all right so across the dam we go so there's a boat down there yeah you can see everything there I don't see why you can't fish down here doesn't say no fishing yeah let's go down and see what it looks like so yeah now we're on the low side of the high side I guess you could call it it's kind of cool all right we'll see if we can find some fish in some okay so we drove a little bit further and this is Pleasant Grove Recreation Area this is part of the Army Corps of Engineers so we're going to go check out this place I'm sure this place is just filled with little nooks and crannies like this. I don't see you much for a fishing area. We were on this boat. This is what I remembered all the shores looking like. Stuff that you couldn't access. Mm. <laughs> Let's kind of, kind of get down there. Yeah, look at this. Got a bridge. There's a boat out there. There's a beach. That's nice. I ain't going over there though. is a good area to go swimming. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. They got a little picnic area up there. That's cool. We should walk across that thing. The bridge? Yeah. It's closed. Oh, is it? It said at the, at the gate, island is closed. And then those, oh, that's right. those guys were on the other side. Of course, that guy's probably going to get him in trouble. Look at that up there. Very cool. So this would be nice to just go explore for the day. Climb up in there, see what's going on. It's not for me, though. I still want to find some me some fishing. See if see if we can find ourselves a fishing hole. That was the 
recreation area. Which recreation area again? Grand. Pleasant Grove. Pleasant Grove. Yeah, Pleasant Grove. I don't know what I was thinking. Grand. Pleasant Grove Recreation Area. And it's Army Corps of Engineers. I'll put the link down below if I can find it. Um, I'll show you on the map what it looks like. You can see that this is actually an island that's out there and there's a suspension bridge. I showed that to you, but it was closed. Even though there's people over there, I think they were getting kicked out. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of interesting. So now we're gonna head back and see if we can find uh, some places we can sit down and fish. That's all I want, but Heidi brought up a good point. And that is she's been down here twice with her family on a houseboat and they have a little dinghy that you tow behind the houseboat to go run for groceries or fuel or whatever you need. Um, bait, that kind of thing. But she said that all the lake that they traveled, there wasn't hardly any place for shore access that you could get to the shore. Now we've seen some people that were swimming but as far as fishing, I don't see so far nothing. Well, we'll have to keep on looking as the truck <laughs> runs on air. It doesn't use any gas whenever I do this kind of driving. So this is where Heidi and her family comes down and rent houseboats. You can see how big they are. They're a lot bigger than our RV is. This is Holly Creek Resort and Marina. Yeah, they're, they're laid out. They're pretty nice. This is the first deer we saw. I'll be going over our campsite and tearing it up. Somebody feeds you. Yeah. That's what that guy was doing. Yeah. Putting that feed down. Yeah. Well, you better get going. It's going to make me wreck my bicycle. Okay, let me get back on the bike and go for the ride. Okay, so deer.
coming out of the hatchery. Nice and cool. It's kind of nice up there. Observation deck down there.
busy day uh, running around as you saw and we're getting ready to call it a night Heidi cooked hot dogs on the grill I love hot dogs she don't like mm. hot dogs yeah that's what she thinks about them she just thinks whatever <laughs> she said what do you want for a side so potato chips <laughs> she likes salads and beans and peas and baked potatoes with all the stuff and no hot dogs yeah she's <laughs> hot dogs I'm just a hot dog sandwich type person so what happened was we uh, didn't find any fishing today other than what I did down on the dock uh, at the boat ramp uh, we did go for a bike ride as you guys saw um, I tried to consolidate that as much as possible so it wasn't boring but it was really cool we went past the fish hatchery runoff which is kind of like a waterfall park area that was kind of nice um, but on our way back, I seen a couple places up the uh, canal or runoff or whatever that might be a little bit better fishing area. Because up here, it's it just seems a little too strong. I don't know. Down there, I can't imagine it being less strong. But, um, yeah, we I just didn't see any place that just said public fishing that we could just stop and I could fish. So we're going to have to do it here. I have like three dozen night crawlers, so... I'm going to have to do a lot of fishing uh, in the next couple days. And uh, tomorrow we'll have to see how it all works out. We are going to be going uh, to dinner in the evening to a local restaurant called Ollie's. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really good restaurant. Um, they uh, invited us to see if uh, we would like to go out there with them. And uh, tomorrow uh, at some point hopefully we get a chance to talk to them. And we'll uh, try to get them on camera if, uh, if they'll have it. Um, if not, we'll uh, give you a consolidation of what we discussed and uh, what they said. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good day today. 
but now we're tired and I get to go in and edit a lot of video. <laughs> so we're going to uh, shut today down and stay tuned for day five. And five? Yeah. Yeah, this is day four. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> All right, guys, as always, hope to see you out there. Bye. Bye.